How's it going, guys? Uh, so, guys, today uh, we're talking Tremonti's A Dying Machine. Now, unfortunately, guys, I'm really sorry, but it's kind of out of my hands, and I tried working around it, tried uploading actually both these things uh, videos twice, but Catching Fire, I tried uploading twice, didn't, YouTube wouldn't let me, uh, wouldn't let me upload it because of law restrictions and all that and copyright. So, you know, fair enough. There, I mean, there's nothing I can do there, but it just really sucks because the same thing happened for a dying machine, and I really wanted to react to this this thing in, in its full entirety. And I, I as much as I, I would do, I can do a live reaction thing of it, but it's just picking songs, and, like, I can still do it, but it just sucks because the ghost one, I had the same problem. I uploaded it again, like, it was a day later, and then it worked, and it wasn't, but it wasn't until, like, the Monday when I up, wanted to upload it on the Friday when it came out. Um, or even just the next day on the Saturday, so it's been kind of it's been kind of tough trying to get some of these videos out, and I, I really feel bad because uh, Toronto is such a good band, and I was actually really looking forward to it, and I know a lot of you were looking forward to the reaction, but I thought the next best thing I could do um, is m at least give you guys a review of what I thought. I love jam jamming out with you guys during these these album reviews too, so it really kind of sucks because I've had this happen before, um, especially in the beginning with the Juice Priest stuff too. Um, and I would just I wasn't able to get any of the uh, some of the live content out and we've listened to enough of the the albums for Judas Priest but you know it's just same thing you know I, I went and listened to a live thing and just nothing right so anyways and it just sucks because it's only here in like the states right well like I'm in Canada but the the copyright thing is you know technically North America Canada but anyways um so I thought the next best thing would be able I would just be able to talk about the stuff if we couldn't listen to it um, I'll post a link for the actually the channel that I was going off of. Um, I'll put up their name and all that all fun stuff and uh, go subscribe to them and um, just listen to the album. All I want you guys to listen to the album because it, it is a very, very, very good album. Um, now, I wouldn't say that if it wasn't true. Um, and I hope you guys can uh, trust me with that because if you guys know Tremonti and all the Tremonti fans that out there know what he, this man can produce and what the band can do, um, and they, they sound awesome it sounds awesome i've never heard well i shouldn't say that but i'm just going off of some hype but like the fluctuation of songs and or dynamics and you'll hear me saying that a lot but um especially in songs like uh well you got heavier sounding songs like uh just going off some notes here guys so i just want to be organized as possible but it like uh from the sky uh the day when uh legions burned and um i believe it's uh what was the last one? Oh, a lot a lot like sin probably three there's one more i think it's uh as the silence becomes me well that, actually that one's kind of a more melodic kind of thing but anyways we started getting a bit off topic here but those those three from before uh from the sky when the day legions burned and a lot like sin super heavy super heavy but they have some really tasty solos um and just the the overall feel it's just like it when you listen to it you'll hear it I, that's why i really wish i could be playing it right now because yeah, i not too good at explaining these sometimes, but it's real in your face. It's gonna hit you like at the chest. They come flying out of the gates. Those songs super heavy off the bat, um, and just some real good like the a lot of the choruses really catchy. But like I don't know, just the the feel of it. You guys have to really listen to it. And when when you guys are finished watching this, go check out the album. Go buy it if you want. You know, like go do whatever you have to do to listen to it. Um, but it's it's phenomenal. Um, the song that I really like the most was "As the Silence Becomes Me" because it's. It's, it's kind of like a heavy, like a soft heavy, if that makes sense. But it has this very ominous kind of build. It's like boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, oh, well, I definitely got to hear the solo for this one. And when you hear it, it's a really good solo. It's not like it's not like a, a ripping, like, kind of solo, you know, like all over. It's, it's a real structured and real, like, hitting the right notes kind of solo. And when you listen to it, just with the feel of it, you just, you can't help but You just like, you're like, yeah, this is so good. Sorry, that's the only way I can kind of explain it. Um, but yeah, just real tasty solo and just a real build kind of song. Um, another one that I found had, that had a really good solo was the, uh, From the Sky. Sorry, I'm just talking solos right now, just because guitar player, you know, so that's what I'm going to gravitate to. Um, but From the Sky solo is just, again, another tasty solo. Again, not a real, it, it has some, like, like ripper parts, uh, if for lack of a better word, but it's just a really, really good solo for, again, just hitting the right notes. That's what I really admired about Tremonti, because you know he can... In previous songs, like he can rip, like a dying machine, it's a ripper of a solo, and even uh, from the sky, it's you know it's it's a pretty good solo too. But like I just mean, when you're when they focus on just those hitting the right notes, it really makes a difference. It really like you can hear the you go from like a really good guitar player to like professional, if that makes sense, because they literally just they're hitting the right notes, 
I know I've said that a couple times, but I just don't know how, how else to say it. Anyways, the, it's it's a good solo, not regardless. Like, you, when you listen to it, it's just the feeling of it is, like, it's just enough of a solo. It's just perfect, you know. Not these long, long, carried-on solos like they did in the 80s and all that fun stuff. Anyways, so, yeah, guys, I don't know. I I just wanted to get at least something out just to talk real quick about the songs because I, I just feel really bad. I really wanted to listen to these some of these songs with you guys. Oh, and um, just going off from the last album, Dust, with uh, Catching Fire, another great tune. Um, I... I don't know, again, I wish I could play them in the background so we could uh, just talk some more, because that's the way I'm usually used to used to doing it. Also listening to songs like um, Trapsy, I think that's how you say it, like T-R-A-I-S-B, I think it's Trapsy or Trapsy or well, how, how you say it, Trapsy and then the first to last, As the Silence Becomes Me, Desolation and Found, more um, slower, uh, more like those, again, like melodic -y kind of real feel feeling songs, um, you can tell that they have a lot of emotion behind them. Um, and then, like, especially like Trap State, it's more of like the build, but then Desolation and Found, it's a nice way coming down from the album kind of thing, because like it goes, when you get to about halfway through the album, from like the seventh song on from like Trap State to almost about Found, there's a couple songs like, uh, I think it's Make It Make It Hurt, I think was the name of it, actually I think I have it, yeah, Make It Hurt, it, it sort of picks up there a bit, but then after that, when you get to like the last two songs, Desolation and Found, then you start hearing it sort of decrease again. But Desolation too, man, that is a great tune. Um, and Found, again, it's just, Found actually kind of reminds me of like when Ghost finished off their album with Life Eternal and uh, Hovetis Monster or whatever the the name, I, sorry, I'm kind of butchering it. But anyways, it, it kind of reminded me of how they, how they finished off too with more of a melodic and then kind of just like easy going, like easing you off and just the meaning behind them, you know, like depending on like what like Ghost was more apocalyptic. And it's people just coming up to realization at the end. It's just like sort of like giving in to the end. It, you know, when you just throw your hands up, you're just like, yep, okay, that's it. I'm out. I'm done. You know, so I, I felt the same sort of thing in, in Tremonti's album here with The Dying Machine. was that same sort of uh, aspect. And what I was actually kind of picking up on when I was just the more I listened to like A Dying Machine was like the lyrics and the way, like the, the meaning of the album was kind of almost like Metallica's kind of like hardwired. Like the same sort of thing when you look at Spit Out the Bone with the people, you know, mending with the machines, becoming like cyborg, if you will. So that same sort of vibe I kind of got. Maybe like, difference in songs and all that, but still the production-wise, it sounded great at Dying Machine. Excuse me. I sort of picked up on uh, similar themes. Similar themes, there we go. Um, but yeah, so anyways, and then listening to songs, uh, uh, you take... Sorry. Okay, and then listening to songs like Take You With Me, um, From the Sky, a dying machine, make it hurt, and uh, throw them uh, to the lions. Those are probably some of the best drumming tracks. So if you're really looking for something high energy, more tempo, listen to those guys. Um, I think they're awesome, awesome drumming tracks, and you'll hear a lot of like, I don't know, just again, production sounds great, especially nowadays making sung, uh, songs, making the drums sound bigger and all that, and just more, more in your face. And that's definitely what Tremonti nails on the dot with this stuff, and like with his style, or not his stuff, with this material. And, um... But yeah, so that's something that like, uh, Tremonti nails, like, to the to the T uh, with this album. And then just the drumming, it just sounds it just sounds phenomenal. So if you guys want to listen to those tracks, uh, again, they're uh, Take You With Me, uh, From The Sky, A Dying Machine, Make It Hurt, uh, and Throw Them To The Lions. Again, just awesome drumming tracks. Um, I hope you guys feel the same after you listen to it. Um, but anyways, guys, that's that's kind of all I got uh, all I got for this video. Um, again, I, I apologize about the not being able to play the video. I was really hoping to uh, you know get this out and react with you guys in a legitimate fashion. But hopefully, in the future, maybe they'll unblock it. But if they don't, um, go check out the album. Um, again, this it just sucks because it's just one of the the downsides to doing some of the YouTube stuff is that I can't unfortunately post some of these reactions all the time. And it definitely sucks, because I don't know if you guys saw the, the notification that it, it was out yesterday that I posted a video, but then within like four minutes, it boom, YouTube was like, nope, nope, can't do it, you know, so, anyways, I apologize again, guys, I know you guys really want to see this kind of reaction, but uh, with, with that being said, I hope this kind of just was some basic, very, very basic, please, please guys don't uh, critique this too much. Um, just, uh, it's only, uh, what I was just trying to do with this video is just to try and give you a small, small, tasteless reference to what the album actually sounds like. Please go listen to it on your own time. It is a very, very good album. Um, and just again, I apologize. Um, it's just kind of out of my hands for this and just kind of sucks. Maybe I could, 
I'd love to just move to, you know, like Europe or something like that for, for the week, go to England and just release it there or something, you know? But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Again, I apologize. Um, well, I kind of apologize on YouTube's behalf for fucking not letting me do this fucking reaction. Anyways, uh, thanks guys for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one, okay? Keep rocking. Buy your money's album. Rock out with them. Fantastic album. See you next one.